I don't look at it on a larger prospect here. Yeah. This I will do this. Whatever comes to me, small, big, left, right, center, I just take it and pay it forward. Poonam, you first fought your assembly election in 2009. And in less than 10 years, you've established yourself as a formidable political force. Oh, God. How have you done this, especially since you lost that first election? I think that first election taught me a lot. It was not just a defeat, it was a huge, massive defeat, where I always believed that I have such a strong backing, I won't lose. And that overconfidence killed me. I still remember my mother said, darling, the problem with you is, you're a woman with a lot of compassion and you have brains. But the problem is you're just using this. You're not using this to connect with people and which is very important in politics. Then I started working on myself that where arithmetically I went wrong, where as a person I went wrong. And you, you consciously worked on yourself to move forward. It's not easy for everyone to do everything. Even for politicians, we have to leave this arrogance of knowing everything. I'm just a student right now also. If some 14-year-old comes and tells me that this should be in the policy, I agree to that person because there are people who know better than me. So it's better you learn. And then slowly, slowly, I started connecting with different kinds of people. Because when you're in politics, you're in this bubble. Same set of people, people who vote for you, and then you and your party. You know, when I walked into your office today, um, I could just see men, like <laughs> literally hundreds of men. Obviously, this more than many other fields is male dominated. Um, is it much, much harder to be a woman here than let's say in any other field like entertainment or science or anything else? I don't think so. No? For a woman in any uh, field, see, I should be even grateful and say that I come from a family. So it gives you a comfort zone. And you know that at least you're safer here, maybe. Uh, so I cannot deny that. I can be very open about it. But when you're working in any profession, it's very difficult to overcome. There is man explaining to you, men do not consider you equal. So you do face that. And that's not only in politics. One of my friends from a very big firm told me that uh, it must be very difficult as a woman for you in politics. So I don't know, as an MP or with my other male MPs, I'm paid equally, not like you in other companies. <laughs> Even that in entertainment. So I'm true. paid equally. So I feel it's not that difficult. <laughs> no, <you're laughs> That's how it is. Absolutely right. Equal pay for a uh, man or a woman in political field. <laughs> you know, we're all in our jobs for one thing. What what are you in it for? I am in it for to give my best and do something better. We all of us, you, me, are blessed to have that platform to make a difference through anything, art, culture, politics, policies, uh, love, compassion, anything. I don't look at it on a larger prospect. Yeah, this I will do this. Whatever comes to me, small, big, left, right, center, I just take it and pay it forward. I read that when you were growing up, you were a very shy child. And in fact... Not much. <laughs> no? It, it said that, you, that politics was not something you were really interested that, in. No, yes. And you trained as a pilot. Yes. Uh, so when you decided to get into politics, how did you overcome the hurdles or the hesitations that you had? Shy in the sense, I was always in my world. Few friends. Daydreamer. Yeah. Few friends, enjoy your life, straightforward, because no nonsense. It really, actually, I had to work on it in politics, because <laughs> you can't be so straightforward. I did uh, face a uh, You had to issues. learn the art of diplomacy? Still learning. <laughs> Still learning. <laughs> but yes, but I feel what is truthful in my heart, I can just say it differently, but I should tell the truth. But uh, you know, it's interesting. I was a trained dancer, Bharat Natyam, for 14 years. I performed a lot. My mom, I did a lot of shows also. And I did a movie. I was very much into art in that sector. My mother always wanted me you to do You did a some, movie? A Marathi movie. Which wow. Was, it's interesting, which I'm giving you the insight <laughs> of it. We did some documentaries also. So I did work with, because I was studying in Balmohan Vidya Mandir. And Vidya Patwardhan, this lady, was known the best stage artist. And she always groomed bachus like us. And for me, it was the best way to leave the school and do something else. And it's helping in politics also. That's a different thing. <laughs> But yes, uh, that gave me a confidence to be on stage to perform. But I could never hold a mic. How something comes to you naturally and you just have to work on it. But hold a mic meaning give a speech? 
they are not even hold it properly. Really? I, yes. I could perform as when I was a kid uh, for my dancing competition, but no, never. You were just too scared? They are terrified, petrified. I'm still scared. Really? Yeah. Some things are very natural. Uh, they just come out of you because you go through with so much of pressure in life stress, uh, the kind of life you lead, and then expectations. So then you try to change yourself. You know, when you lost that first election, um, you many people did dismiss you as another dynastic failure. Yes. And at that point, Poonam, did you ever have a moment of doubting yourself? Or did it just, like you said earlier, just make you stronger and allow you to soldier on? For me, uh, my father passed away tragically. He was a member of parliament, national general secretary with the party. I did not get anything where he was. I started as being a Maharashtra's youth wing general secretary who started working in Marathwara. I did get a ticket, but which after four years of working in the party. I lost, people did dismiss me and rightfully dismiss me that she could not do it. And victory is everything, and which is absolutely right. But defeat may not tell others that how a good person you are and you're really trying your best, but it teaches you that you want to do more. And I think I wanted to really leave politics at that time. I felt maybe you did I'm think not about that. Yes, my family supported me a lot. They felt that I have something in me which I can do. But it took a lot of time for me from 2009 to 2014. It did teach me a lot. So I really embrace my first defeat and I'm really grateful to it. I don't want to see many after this, but still. I'm yeah, happy. you're done now. <laughs> I'm done now. <laughs> so, Puram, what is a normal day in your life like and what's the most joyous part of it? So let me put the joyous part of the day when I'm back home with my children, questioning me. My son is 13, so it's a teen time where Mum is not required suddenly. And when I needed, when he needed me, I was busy in work. And now when I take out little time, he's like, Mum, I don't have time for you. You know the teenage time, you've seen it. Yeah. And a five-year-old daughter who needs me all the time with her pink passion and read this out to me, read that out to me, which uh, tires you, but it's joyous that uh, they come to you, they want to see you. And then my mother, telling me that you haven't done this, you're not eating properly, you're eating too much, today we ate two vada paus. You know how it is, the house is typical, but it's joyous that you come back home and people are concerned, they're happy to see you. Poonam, in 2016, uh, when the AIB roast happened, you, um, you penned a very eloquent uh, defense of the freedom of expression. And I, I want to quote exactly what you said. Um, you said freedom of thought and expression is an immensely valuable gift that must be preserved and protected from the lunatic fringe at all cost. Um, but this is not the position the party is always taken. Is it hard to sort of balance your own personal views with the larger political scenario? No, um, let me just be straight. When Poonam is talking, she's not talking. I don't write it saying, Poonam Mahajan, these are my personal views. I talk as a very responsible member of parliament and it has never ever happened that my seniors have asked me, why did you write this? That means there is a support to this. You know what happens with, uh, there is actually a collective responsibility of all of us to portray ourselves correctly. We fail that sometimes, we as general citizens, and sometimes we should get up and speak for it. Purum, are there any mantras that you live by? So my mantra is only being positive. Just look forward, do what you have to do, and you must do it. That's how it is. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs>